as Irina Slutskaya, who's won two European championships, takes the ice. We can tell you that Michelle Kwan is going to be the gold medalist here at the World Championships. Irina Slutskaya needed help from Maria Butirskaya. Didn't quite get it. Kwan Butirskaya, Leticia Hubert, the top three. And American Tanya Kwiatkowski in fifth place. Now watch and see how close she brings this triple lutz double toe loop combination to the board. Look at her holding it right there. Well, that was enough room for that to be very fine. Triple Salkow. Oh, triple Salkow, triple loop. And that was a beauty. I haven't seen that good technique since Tara Lipinski came onto the ice like a blazing comet. Mm -hmm. When you see some of these failed jumps, you realize how important and how superb Tara Lipinski's technique is. There's a reason she's the Olympic gold medalist and the world champion. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you saw the curve of that jump. We were right in front of us where we're sitting. The curve went to the edge. You could just see that pole vault going to the side instead of straight up. This is a young woman who won a bronze medal at the world in 96 when Michelle Kwan won her last world championship and has spent most of the last year plus trying to get back to that form. She was fourth at the Russian National Championships this year. Had to earn her spot on the Russian Olympic team by capturing silver at the European Championships. Triple toe loop, triple toe loop, with extra turns on the end. Now she seems to be back to her old self. Notice the entrance to that, right out of a spiral. That's tough. Somehow has picked up energy through this program. She seems to be flying. Good energy. The footwork not particularly invigorating, but her energy is. And her excitement is, too. Well, she's pleased with that one. She pulled off a lot of good jumps there. I, I, and it's, her style, certainly, I, I don't think is anything to write home about, but she's energetic and, uh, and young and... Um... 
And her style hasn't been the focus since she came on the scene a couple of years ago and no, won a European no. championship. No. She had those rosy cheeks that you used to pinch during oh, interviews. I, I love doing that. Her. And I said, I hope you don't mind. And she said, looked at me and she said, no, no, no. All the old men like to do that. <laughs> Arena Slutskaya <laughs> trying to stand on the podium along with Maria Butirskaya. It'd be a first for Russian women. Well, we're not done even when we are done this weekend here at the World Figure Skating Championships presented by MasterCard. An evening of special performances. Michelle Kwan will certainly be there. Todd Eldridge, Thursday night, prime time, 8 o'clock Eastern and Pacific, right here on ABC. Look forward to that. Well, terrific crowds all week here in Minneapolis. Figure skating such a part of the heritage in this area of the country. Marina Slutskaya collecting teddy bears. She has well over 200 of them in her studio apartment, which she shares with her parents. And the teddy bear. And why not? You know, there's little enough pleasure sometimes out of the gruel of this training and, this, and the, 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 the whole system of, of competition. Mich Michelle Kwan, by the way, has not been backstage. You saw Maria Butirskaya, but she has not been in the area backstage watching the results and or the monitors. <laughs> My, my bet is that uh, the marks for Irina Slutskaya will be quite good. The first set yeah. certainly is. Five, eight. Five, eight. I think the five, marks have nine, picked up for her five, and have seven, looks like they've five, moved her seven, into second place five, for the six. simple reason that she completed a lot of technical merit. Very difficult. Triple, triple combinations. Five, the highest, the five, highest technical five, merit in the five, in six, the competition. Five, and she had energy five, and seven, speed. The five, style six, wasn't so great, five, but the speed, the enthusiasm, five, seven, and the charm and five, was. And uh, that carried her right through. That's as sincere a reaction as you're ever going to see. Arena Slutskaya captures the silver medal. She won a bronze in 96. This time it's silver. Right ahead of Maria Butirskaya. But it's Michelle Kwan who captures her second gold medal at the World Championships. And there's Michelle backstage, along with her coach, Frank Carroll, making their way towards the ice. Well, she went home. She worked very hard between the Olympics and this, this event, and she wanted a second World night. Championship. She now has it. Slutskaya and Butirskaya round out the podium. And Tanya Kwiatkowski, a sixth place finish. Isn't that great? That is incredible. In her last World Championships. And down through the top 12. So three spots for the American women next year at the Worlds. We're back with some final thoughts and some words from the skaters I saw you when we come back. Back in Minneapolis for a look at the National Car Rental winning moment. Who else? Michelle Kwan, the gold medalist. The combination, triple toe, double toe. She was brilliant all week long. And she is right next to Leslie Visser right now. Leslie? Terry, everyone thought this was going to be Michelle's private party, but winning the world championship is not easy. And Michelle, it was a fight out there, wasn't it? Well, th during my performance, it was all thinking, you know, four minutes of thinking. And after I made two mistakes, I knew that I had um, no more options but to do everything else. How important for you was it to win the world championship to reclaim your title? Well, I didn't win world championships um, in 96, so um, it was nice to be back and be in the home country. And, you know, the people in Minnesota were awesome and volunteers, just everything was perfect. And what about for you? Most kids your age now are waiting to hear from colleges. They're planning it in the fall. Is, is Harvard in your plans? Um, well, I'm not taking down any opportunities. I'm just keeping my eyes open on any options. And um, I still don't know what I'm going to do with college. Um, Harvard sounds really interesting. <laughs> well, if you do, we think you'd get a recommendation from Dick Button. <laughs> Congratulations yeah. to you, Michelle. You. Back to you, Terry. You would do it any time, Leslie. There's no question about it. You bet. <laughs> well, the World Championships always have many stories, but no question, Michelle Kwan, the story of this week. Brent Musburger comes back with his final thoughts to wrap things up from Minneapolis. <laughs>